Hello, this is Emily with your Monday Meditation. Psalm 23 is probably the best known psalm, and one verse reads, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. It's no longer common practice to anoint people with oil. And as I was reading this passage, I was brought back to the actions of Ash Wednesday. On Ash Wednesday, we put ashes on our forehead as a sign of our mortality and repentance before God. But it is not only ashes that we place on our forehead. We mix these ashes with oil. Now, some say this mixing with oil is only done to make the ashes stick a little bit better. But that may be true. But as I see it, maybe there's something more to this. When someone is anointed with oil, it could be for many reasons. Aaron was anointed with oil when he became a priest. Mary anoints Jesus' feet with oil in preparation for his death. And James writes to the early church and calls for the elders to anoint the heads of those who are sick. So on Ash Wednesday, when we put ash and oil mixed together on our foreheads, it's more than just a symbol of our mortality. It's also a way of marking our dedication to God. Psalm 23 is a psalm of trust. So to declare, you anoint my head with oil, is to say that God has set us aside and we have placed our trust in God. When the words of Ash Wednesday, remember you are dust and to dust you shall return, are said, there is also the reminder, remember that you are God's and to God you shall return. Let us pray. Holy God, help us remember today that we have dedicated our lives to you. Guide us as we walk through our day and remember to trust in you, you who are worthy of our trust. Amen.